Hello and welcome to People's Voice, where true stories touch deep emotions. Today, we delve into, I caught my wife of 10 years in an affair. Is this woman a complete narcissist? Come, let's explore these real life stories. About a year ago, I felt my wife growing distant from me. I figured it just had to do with stress, the new job she took on, and her attending online college. Around February, I decided that I was going to really try to improve our relationship. I figured she needed someone to take care of her. I started doing all the grocery shopping, cleaning, laundry, giving her money so she could get a nicer lunch, taking her out on dates, buying her things, etc. I thought this might improve her stress and our relationship would grow closer. The only thing I ever asked her to do was take out the trash and she wouldn't do it. There was a point where she hadn't taken the trash out in three weeks. I was being petty by not taking it out, but I felt like I was doing everything else, and that was one job I asked her to do. As the months went on, I started to develop a terrible sinus infection. I went to a few doctors, spent thousands of dollars, but none of them could figure out what was wrong with me. I started to fall behind on my chores. I asked my wife if she could help me out, and she didn't do anything. At one point, we had a fight before she left for work one day about it. She said that she'll get to it eventually and doesn't see why it's a big deal. I progressively started to get worse and my wife was paying literally no attention to me. I started to think it was a real possibility that she was seeing someone else. One night, I asked her if she's seeing someone else. She tells me that she would never do that and we proceed to have a beautiful two-hour conversation. She tells me that she's just stressed and is going to be a better spouse. The next two weeks are actually really good. She starts cooking, cleaning, being attentive to me, etc. One night, though, I get that suspicion again. I end up taking her phone while she's sleeping. I felt terrible about doing this because I trusted her more than anyone, but I had to know. I proceed to see thousands of texts to a coworker who is also married. Luckily, the texts are not very lewd and honestly look like how someone in high school would text someone. There is some flirty messaging and I do see one text where they are planning around my schedule so he can come into my home. Once I get through this, I wake her up and I demand answers. She tells me she needs to leave and can't talk to me right now. After some yelling back and forth, she leaves for the night to go to her sister's. At this point, I can't sleep at all. I call a few friends and they come over to comfort me. I eventually get her on the phone the next day and she admits to cheating on me. I ask her what she wants to do and she says she doesn't know. I ask if she wants to be with me and she says she doesn't know. The next few days, we have some contact. She says she cut off all contact with the guy and wants to make it work. I meet with her again and ask her to pull up her phone bill to prove she hasn't been talking to him. I see hundreds of texts to his number. I ask why she can't stop lying and she says she doesn't know. I ask if she loves him and she says yes. I ask if she loves me and she says yes, but she says she can't pick between us. I proceed to do the pick me dance in the next few meetings. At this point, she is growing increasingly distant but still says she wants to make it work. She says she's not seeing this guy but I happen to know she got a hotel room the previous weekend for three days. We have one more phone call and decide to go no contact to see what we want to do. A few days later, on my birthday, I decide that I want to end it and I'm going to hire a lawyer. I send her a text asking to talk, but she never responds and also never sends me a happy birthday. I find out that she went and got a hotel room that night. The next day, she texts me saying she needs more time to think and wishes me a happy belated birthday. At this point, I'm livid and talk to some other people. I find out that she had been cheating on me with someone else right before we got married. At this point, I think she still believes we have a chance to get back together. I happen to know that all she's doing at this point is talking to this guy and going out with him. In fact, she was on the phone with him one day for seven hours straight. So Reddit, is this woman actually just a terrible person? Are they caught in the fog or something else? Public Reactions User, Cultured Gentleman 921 says, She's not a terrible person, she's just a terrible wife. I know you love her. 
She just showed you who she really is. Now that you know, you need to act accordingly. She does not love you. If she did, she wouldn't cheat. So when she says I love you, she's lying to avoid conflict and to not appear to be evil. She's afraid of the inevitable fallout from this with friends and family. She thinks she can avoid it, but it's already too late. She desperately wants to sweep this under the rug. You need to go in no contact. She has to realize what she's losing. Do not do the pygmy dance anymore. Separate your finances. Arrange for your paycheck to be deposited into a new account in your name only. Cancel and close all joint credit and bank accounts and take half of that money from the account. The other half, put it in a cashier's check and send it to her. You need to go to a divorce lawyer and get your options. You're not committing to a divorce, although you really should. You are just looking and seeing what divorce will look like in your state. Do whatever your lawyer says to do. You may need to hire a person to get evidence of your wife's infidelity. Evidence of her infidelity allows you to control the narrative. She will tell everyone that you're abusive. She will make up all kinds of stuff to justify her actions. All you have to do is tell her to provide proof. Then, provide proof of your own. What can she do? It's her word against cold, hard evidence. Do not reconcile. She is a lying liar who lies. Can you believe a word that comes out of that vile hole in the middle of her terrible face now? You are a fool if you do. The only way to get over her is in no contact, purging all physical reminders and photos of her from your life and going full tilt all day, every day. Eventually, you will be okay. Rely heavily on your friends and family now. Go get a therapist as well if you need to. No shame in that. Good luck to you. You don't deserve this. She's trash. User, Critical Bank 5269 says, Dude, she's a selfish garden tool. She's not in love with you. She only loves what you provide for her. She enjoyed her affair. She had intimate moments with that guy repeatedly, knowing it would devastate you emotionally and likely end the marriage. She didn't care and was with him anyway. You gave her an ultimatum, and she told you off and continues to be with this guy. The only thing left here is to get the divorce rolling. While she's out of the house, change the locks and serve her with the divorce papers. User, Bill2550 says, so she gets a hotel room and spends time with the other guy on your birthday, and you have to ask if she is a terrible person? The minute you ask her what she wants and she says she doesn't know, it's over. She doesn't love you. She doesn't want to give up the comfort of her current life. Don't confront her anymore. Hire an attorney and get everything in order before you have her served. Have her served at work and have the married co-worker named as a cause. Tell AP's wife. Tell her employer. It's a lot harder to be walked on when you are standing up. User, Repulsive Worker 3636 says, Just file for divorce. She's a complete selfish person, so cut your losses and move on. She's a serial cheater who only cares about herself. She wants the security of marriage and the fun and excitement of the affair. You only know about two, but God only knows how many she has had. If she wanted to save the marriage, she would have cut off contact the moment you confronted her and begged for a second chance, but she doesn't. She's a cake eater, and with her, divorce and public humiliation are the only answers. Final update. I have to leave some information off here, but she decided she just wants to be single and said she didn't want to make it work. Thank God, I'm finally free. I never planned to make it work anyway, but it would have been nice to see any amount of effort from her. The cogs are turning, and I should hopefully be divorced in about a month. My question in the post was more nonsense, I was just venting. A lot of these stories helped me in the beginning stages of my day, so I figured if I shared mine someone else might not feel as alone. Also, AP's wife was alerted, she didn't seem to care. If you love this story, and crave more tales of love, betrayal, and healing, don't forget, to subscribe for more from Cheating Stories.